So Sean, this is Daisy and Albert. Yep. Now some of you at home might have seen uh, the video we made already about these two being rehomed and put together. Um, if you stick around to the end of the video, there'll be a link to that. Sean, what do you think we might see from this? As part of the Zoo's Enrichment Programme, we do try and get them exhibiting natural behaviour, and one of these natural behaviours we do is a death roll. So we'll be given a, a large prey item that she can't swallow in one go. Yep. I'm going to hold on to the end of it, give, have a bit of tug of war with her, and hopefully we'll see her spinning over awesome. to try and tear that smaller piece off to eat. Well, that should hopefully make some cracking slow mo. It'd be brilliant <laughs> slow mo, I'm sure it will. Yeah. Excellent. So it might look pretty brutal, but uh, this is basically exactly what they're getting in the wild. And what they'll do is they'll latch on with those really powerful jaws and then give it a death roll and just spin and tear off hunks of flesh. It's brutal stuff. Yeah. Oh man, that looks incredible. It's pretty powerful. Actually, it is really powerful. There was a guy who did a recent study and apparently at the back of that mouth there, there's a crushing force of about 9,000 Newtons, <laughs> which might not mean very much to anyone, but 9,000 Newtons is about the weight of two racehorses on top of you and of course attached to those teeth as well. So that's some serious crushing power. You don't want to get your legs in between that. No. Of course, she's close to your eyes, fingers there. Yeah, eyes pulled right back in the head. Proper shot. I couldn't physically hold that. He, she, and she's was she's only two meters, and that was gone. And how many years have they been a, around to evolve? Been around 220 million years. So they've got everything <laughs> Long time right. To perfect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're the perfect, perfect predator. They really are. Sean's just about to feed Albert. Obviously, he's a big old boy. Whoa. So Sean, um, Albert's made the executive decision to call a halt film uh, in there. Yeah, he's uh, broken our equipment that we were using. <laughs> um, it does go to show how strong they are. I mean, how you know, was it when you're holding? It's like it was like holding onto a car, reversing. <laughs> I was no chance. If if this hadn't have broke, I'd have had to have let go. Otherwise, I'd have been in the pool, which is not a nice place to be with a three-meter yeah. alligator. <laughs> um, well, that was a fantastic day. Thanks so much, Sean. And um, no problem. Thank you. Like you say, you just don't see these things when it's you happening in real time. Don't know. Your eyes just can't pick it up. So from my point of view. You know, I've, I've seen a lot more than what I've, I've seen working with them every day. So yeah. it's been great, thank you. Not at all, mate. Thanks very much. Anyway, for more amazing animal videos, be sure to subscribe to Earth Unplugged, and we'll see you next time on Slow Mo. This is Zoo La La, the big alligator move. Okay. Hang on, here we go. Yep. This is a baby West African dwarf crocodile. Whilst I can hold this little chap quite easily, moving one of his cousins, who is a thousand times bigger, is going to be slightly harder.